My name is Maria Kunzielska, and today we have a real actor with us and someone whose voice might sound familiar for many generations of Polish people. With me is Paweł Tuchowski, a actor, also a master of dubbing, and a lector. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. And since I would say your voice is a lot of people connect to us with something, but they might not know exactly what. And of course, it's just because you were Polish Simba in the Disney Lion King, the most, I would say, wonderful animation. We say in the whole history of animation, and we all absolutely love it. And you were the grown up Simba already, the one um, it, with a lot in a lot of scenes with Timon and Pumba and like the, the grown up part of it. I think uh, the uh, Lion King uh, is still for me touching, very touching. And of course, is the adventure I had uh, uh, 15 years ago. Uh, so mm, uh, many, uh, many children remember it very much. And uh, when when I say I am Simba, they can't believe it. Uh, you are Simba, your voice, it is your voice. So they are very, very, very astonished. It, it was really very, uh, very big adventure. And uh, when I... Uh, and when you got this project, after all, it was just after the, the fall of PRL. And then eventually we were open to the a new world, the Western world as well. And here comes such an American production after all. And you have to uh, to face the challenge. There are great uh, American actors who are doing the same job as you are doing for uh, for the for their audience. And then you suddenly are faced with this challenge that, okay, you, you have to be at least be as good as they were. And of course, the Polish version is actually amazing and the dubbing is, uh, we, we have this very good school of, of dubbing that sometimes those movies are even better in Polish than they were in English. Yeah, really. In English. When I was uh, in the cinema and uh, there was the premiere uh, uh, show uh, in the cinema, I couldn't believe uh, what I saw, really. I told myself a little bit when I was at the Oscar ceremony uh, and there were many people and we were introduced to the audience. Uh, so this is Paweł Tucholski who gave the voice to uh, Simba and uh, and Matthew Broderick uh, did it uh, before me in uh, the American version. And uh, so I felt myself, oh my God, I, I, I really, I did a, a good job. Uh, with this dubbing and uh, after this uh, I think uh, uh, yes I was popular because of the Simba but uh, soon um, some years came people uh, forgot me uh, and they remembered uh, my my dubbing when, uh, for example, there was uh, there was a meeting or with uh, young people, and uh, uh, somebody uh, somebody said, "This is Simba." And you were also singing, yes. Yes, uh, I uh, because of this because of King Lion, I chose the song um, in the program. Your face sounds familiar. Uh, and I, I sang the song, um, um, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Uh, it is the sentiment to, to the story. The song uh, that comes from the film is quite different than uh, the song uh, um, sang by Elton John, because the song is uh, only at the end uh, of the, the film. Some fragments of the song uh, sang uh, by Simba or Nala, uh, when they meet each other. Could you tell us a few words, in Polish even, with the voice of Simba, just for Simba, just... Oh, yes. Nala, moja przyjaciółka. Nala, to ty, moja przyjaciółka. Another fragment was uh, uh, when uh, Simba is, uh, is alone. Uh, uh, when uh, when uh, he prays, 
uh, yeah, or he has a moment of confrontation moment. with yeah, the past. Yes, yes, with the past. Who is yeah. he? And uh, and uh, the, 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 there's a kind of uh, Hamlet monologue when uh, uh, Simba says to his father, Ojcze, Ojcze, zostawiłeś mnie, Ojcze. Working as a professional uh, lecturer and dubbing maker, you, you change your voice, you use your voice as a, I would say, a, an instrument. So you can you can sound lower, you can sound higher, you can you can yes you say you can use a softer version. What does it really depends on? If you could tell us, like, yeah, the, the Disney decides uh, as for voices, uh, and uh, Disney uh, chooses the the voices to uh, to to films. And before uh, King Lion, I um, gave my voice to Aladdin, the main the main uh, uh, hero of uh, of Aladdin. Uh, yeah, of yes. course we know yeah. he's and. Uh, uh, so then, when I gave my voice to Aladdin, I had to find a uh, quite uh, different voice. Um, I had to uh, to to use the voice uh, higher to you to find the higher sounds because uh, uh, Aladdin was uh, uh, was a young young boy. To be honest, I've never had that. I never had that. I wouldn't say that you are Aladdin and Simba in the same person. Mm -hmm. the, the, it was the short time between uh, Aladdin uh, and uh, and uh, King Lion, and uh, I had to record uh, fragments of my voice, and then uh, it um, it was sent to to America, and they accepted it. After after this time, which fifteen years passed, uh, you also had a chance to took part in the first um, a first season of a show. Your your face sounds so familiar, which also was a challenge because you were singing there and you were singing many different uh, uh, songs, being a woman, being a man. So changing again, changing your voice. The adventure of the program, your face sounds familiar. Um, was connected to with uh, the show. It was the musical in a comedy theater. Uh, I've played the role of Zaza, the main role in this musical. And Nina Terentiev uh, saw me in this uh, show. And I played a role of woman. So uh, she thought maybe I uh, could uh, uh, I could uh, have uh, the opportunity to, to 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 do it again. <laughs> to do it again to uh, to take part in this show because in this show also there were there were uh, some uh, pop stars women and I uh, I had to um, imitate the voices of women voices generally so i i um, then i chose myself uh, alicia majewska the um, polish, polish singer, singer eva de marczyk but you were also men so you were also yeah yeah, yeah. Also, john. Also john john i, I was uh, john lennon i was luciano yeah. pavarotti i was lubega so and uh, some some persons uh, were close uh, to my natural voice, like for example, Elton John, the song uh, um, "Can You Feel the, the Love, Love Tonight? Tonight." So it is, uh, it is very close to the nature of my voice. And talking about this, for the for the uh, to wrap up this episode, can you sing a little bit to us? Can you feel the love tonight? Can you feel the love tonight? It is where we are. It's enough to make kings and the vagabonds believe the very best. Wonderful. 
So just to wrap up this episode, to all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily, if you're fans of Disney, then watching again Aladdin, all oh, the Lion King, you can just right now picturize the, the man who stands behind the voice of those two great characters. And thank you very much for staying with us and watching Pelon Daily Culture.